Hey, I'm Adam Jessica, and this is Adam Answers, where we answer the burning and not so burning questions of the day. In this video, does a router make your internet faster? Or what does a router do exactly? How does that fit into your home networking scheme or maybe small business networking scheme? That's what we're gonna talk about. But first, if you find this video helpful, I would ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So if you are trying to set up an internet network in your home or your small business and you don't really understand all the lingo because nobody really tells you how it is all supposed to come together, that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So one of the questions that people sometimes ask is, well, what does that router do? Does that, is that the thing that sort of makes my internet faster or do I add a router onto my network to, to increase the speed or what is the deal there? And the sort of short answer to that is that your router is not there to increase the speed of your internet. It really is there to disseminate the signal of your internet sort of. So that's not really what a router is supposed to do. But a better router can sort of give you faster internet than an inferior router, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So let's take a step back and talk about how your internet connection actually comes together in your home or small business and then how that wireless network gets set up so that you know multiple computers and phones and that sort of thing can use that network and how a router plays into that system. So if you want to get internet connected to your home or small business, you call an internet service provider, oftentimes for broadband high-speed internet, that may be a cable company. Someone like Spectrum or maybe AT&T, or in my area, there's Cox Cable, and there are others as well. So what they're gonna come is come and do is basically run some cable, run some wire, and they are going to set that up into, from the outside, into your home or business, and when they do, what they are going to do if you actually want to use that internet to actually get that signal to surf the internet and upload things, that sort of thing, is you are going to need a modem. So basically a modem hooks to the cable that comes into your home or your small business and that modem is there to sort of translate these signals in order to send things back and forth on that wire that has come into your home or small business. Now, since that modem is attached directly to the cable coming into your home or business, if you connected directly to that modem, you would be getting essentially the fastest speeds that you could from your internet connection, whatever package you have with the uh, internet service provider. So if you attached a cable from the modem straight into a desktop computer, for example, you would be getting basically almost a direct connection to the internet uh, cable that you have and the internet service that you have paid for. So the modem is the closest thing there. If you hook the modem directly in your computer, computer you're gonna get the best in terms of the speed possible. However, if you have multiple devices, and this is what most people want to do, you don't want to have a wired connection from your modem that you go and put in different things. Instead, you want to have a wireless connection so that multiple devices can use the connection and they don't have to be attached to the modem. And that is where the router comes in. So you're gonna be able to connect your desktop computer, your laptop computer, your phones, your iPads, whatever, all at the same time within your living space or workspace and be able to tap into that internet connection that you have run into your space. And the router allows you to do that. It allows you to use all those things at one time. So the router connects to the modem and then the router allows basically the internet signal to be de disseminated over the space that you have. And you set up a username and password with that router and then all those devices you give out the username and password to whoever is using them and then that is how they connect into the router and it's also the way that you stop anybody else from using your internet signal who is outside of your home or business so that is really what the router's purpose is is to be that hub to be that uh, you know device that sends the signal out and allows all of those uh, devices that we use every day to tap into the internet connection that we've established. And when we do that, that is what is known as Wi-Fi or a wireless network. We're allowing all of these devices to use our wireless network via the router. So knowing what we know, you can see that a router's job is not really to increase the speed of your internet. It is to take the signal from the modem and disseminate it out over a given living space or 
workspace. And in fact, the router can't give out more than it is getting in from the modem. It can only sort of slow things down due to, you know, technological concerns that might mean that it is slightly slower than the signal that is actually coming into it from the modem. So that's kind of how the nature of technology is. If you are sending a signal from one thing to the next, there's probably going to be some degradation of the signal, so you're not getting quite the same speed. However, there are different routers out there on the market, and some of those routers are going to be much better at taking the signal from the modem and giving you a faster speed or using as much of that signal as possible than other routers that might take that signal in but not be able to disseminate it quite as widely or as powerfully. And so with some routers, you will feel like you are getting a faster signal than with another, even if you're not necessarily getting the maximum signal that your modem could be sending to that router. In other words, a router won't make your internet faster, but a better router will give you a faster signal than an inferior router. So really in this video you can see I'm not getting so much into the technology in terms of what makes a better router than a worse router. I'm really just trying to make you understand how the whole process works and what a router actually does. Now something I should add here is that when you get an internet connection established through an internet service pro provider, Sometimes they are going to sell you or rent you a combination modem and router, which basically means the modem and router are in the same device. So you, you know, your signal's coming into the modem and that same device is also able to disseminate that signal around your space. There's nothing essentially better or worse uh, you know, having a combination versus having those two things separate, the modem and router, although a lot of people like to have them separate in case they want to switch out one of the pieces of those equipment so they don't have to switch out both the modem and the router at the same time potentially, and there may be some security uh, reasons as well. But I'm not going to get too much into that, but if you have a combination modem router, it essentially does the same thing as what I just said with them being two separate devices. So that's it. A router isn't going to increase your internet speed, but a better router is going to allow you to use more of the speed that you have available to you than an inferior router would, and that is going to make you happier with all of the devices that are connected into your wireless network. Questions, comments, put them in the comments section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon.